<laughs> My 13-year-old son used to admire you. Used to. <laughs> Who else never followed Trump on Twitter for the first time and won't follow him now? Show those hands. Memo to Elon. Freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom to incite an insurrection. <laughs> Trump doesn't belong on Twitter. <laughs> he belongs in prison. <laughs> so do you, Elon Musk. Fascist asshole. Block him. Don't retweet him. Don't reply to him. <laughs> Any advertisers still funding Twitter should immediately pause all advertising now. <laughs> wah, wah, wah! Welcome back. Today we're going to play a game of Replace That Word. And we'll be playing it with MSNBC, who have some fear to monger about a certain greedy, power and control hungry, inhuman group of people known as heterosexual white men. <laughs> Your thoughts on on the Trump reinstated back to Twitter with uh, with Elon Musk? Joking aside, how do you uh, how do you see this? And I will I will give it back straight, which is that I'm absolutely disgusted. But what else do we expect from very white privileged cis hetero men protecting each other? Because we always mistake wealth and inheritance for genius. So yay, Elon Musk gets what he wants, his buddy back on the air in order to finish burning down democracy while he finishes burning down the town square. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. Look, just because I reflect the sun's rays back out into space when I take my shirt off doesn't make me very white. Seriously though, what the hell does very white even mean? You're not gonna hurt my feelings, but it seems like very white simply means that these people that she's talking about are displaying characteristics which she hates and sees as stereotypical of white people. Usually we call this racism. Different, oh, different, different, different. All right, so I'm gonna run this clip back, but I'm gonna replace every use of the word white with Jewish. Right after I take 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Did you know Noble Gold's team of precious metals experts have helped thousands of worried investors like you to build and preserve wealth through times like these? Find out why gold, silver, and IRAs are the answer to inflation and financial contagion. Talk to a personal precious metals expert today oh and this month they're gifting a free three ounce silver american virtue coin with every qualified ira above twenty thousand dollars you can't go wrong with noble gold call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com and as always there's a link in the description or pinned comment just remember there is always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results and I will, I will give it back straight, which is that I'm absolutely disgusted. But what else do we expect from very Jewish privileged cis hetero men protecting each other because we always mistake wealth and inheritance for genius. So yay, George Soros. But he wants his buddy back on the air in order to finish burning down democracy while he finishes burning down the town square. See what I mean? Not that you even needed to see this clip if you have consistent principles. What she said is plainly racist and by their own standards, fomenting violence against a targeted group. But as usual, all these media class folks seem to have a major mental block when it comes to seeing themselves. So let's just get this straight. First, what does being very white mean? And what exactly is wrong with being very white? It really just sounds like you're broadly judging an entire group based on their skin color. Second, notice how she lists off all these qualities as if there's something wrong with being white, male, and straight. It's funny because going back to the late 90s and maybe even earlier, it was always a joke that the only group left that it was socially acceptable to hate was straight white men. But as you can see here, it's not a joke. Third, she boils Elon Musk down to nothing but his wealth and inheritance, as if there's something wrong with either of those things and then suggest that he's not a genius because he unbanned Trump from Twitter. Right, right, because a B-team, regressive, anti-white, race-obsessed, far-left activist pundit definitely has the standing to talk down to a guy who invented Starlink and rockets that fire into space and then land vertically to be reused. Very white, privileged, cis, hetero men protecting each other because we always mistake wealth and inheritance for genius. So yay, Elon Musk. You're a damaged goods lady. These are things that actually move humanity forward, unlike you.
Lastly, she insanely states that the straight white male scourge is in the process of burning down democracy and the town square. Isn't it interesting that they're suddenly now calling it the town square, when before they insisted it was a private company that could ban anyone they wanted and suppress whatever information they chose? The First Amendment is a check on the power of the state. It doesn't apply to private companies like Facebook or Twitter. Which is exactly why the government is using big tech to do their suppression and censorship for them. FBI obtaining anonymous social media data and then using technical methods to pierce the anonymous nature of the data. Anonymous social media data? So you purchase data. People purchase data all the time and we sort of tolerate it for advertising and things because it's anonymous data. Are you purchasing what is said to be anonymous data through the marketplace and then piercing the anonymous nature to attach individual names to that data? Right. But when you asked about anonymous data, I was thinking more in terms of... Um, no, I'm talking about data that is that, out there. And are you purchasing data and then piercing the anonymous nature of that data? So the manner in which we use, uh, we usually use the term commercial data. Um, the Almighty says, don't change the subject, just answer the fucking question. Uh, is probably longer than I could explain here, but again, let me have a have a. Uh, so you 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 are, you aren't prepared. You please. will not answer the question of whether or not you're attaching names to anonymous data. I think it's a more complicated answer than I can give here. Bullshit. As far as burning down democracy, it once again suggests that these people have no idea what democracy even is, or literally just think that it means Democrats in control. As evidenced by the fact that anytime they don't get what they want, lose an election, or lose control, democracy is over. All right, folks, I think we've all been sufficiently punished by these people. I really appreciate you all watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe, then leave a comment to vent some frustrations. Thanks a lot.